growing areas in Ghana are mainly Ashanti, Eastern, Western and Volta region. They account for over 80% of maize production here in Ghana. My name is Enyunam and thanks for joining us on The Ghanaian Farmer. We are all the way in the Western region and our focus today is highlighting on growing maize on commercial base. How will you be able to manage the two seasons we have and grow maize between three to four times in a year. And standing next to me to tell me more about this system is the team lead and the brain behind the Ahanta West Maize Growers and Traders Association, Mr. Osajifo. Coming up is a profile highlighting on maize growing here in Ghana. When I come back, I'll be telling you more. I'll be enlightening you about maize growing it's the raining time and so you see a lot of insects all over my face but i'm going for a quick bit i'll be right back after this stay tuned maize ranks first as ghana's most important cereal produced and consumed occupying an area of about 1 million hectares and constituting about 50 to 60 percent of ghana's cereal production it also ranks first based on area cultivated and follows cocoa as the second most important crop. Maize grows well in almost every part of Ghana. It grows in the northern savanna, transitional, forest and coastal savanna zones of the country. This is still the Ghanaian farmer and our focus is on maize. You can see right behind us a huge acres of maize farm right behind us. And it's in March. Very soon we are moving into April, which is the planting season here in Ghana. Every farmer right now is busy. So today let's talk to the team lead of a Hunter West Maize Growers and Traders Association. Mr. Sajifo, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So when we say maize, what kind of crop are we referring to? Good. Uh, when you come to, we have a, all, all the crops have their family. Mm. And maize belongs to a family called the Sulas family. Okay. It's one of the first crops that farmers normally cultivate. Mm. So it's one of the Sulas crops that we have in Ghana. Okay. Uh, people, everybody like it. Okay. Can maize be grown all year round? Oh, yes. Depending on the location. Okay. For Western region, mm. for that matter, a hunter west mm. throughout the year, all year round, okay. we grow maize. Irrespective okay. of the weather that we have, mm. we grow maize. Okay. Do we have varieties of maize? We have several varieties of maize. Mention the ones that are normally grown in the Western oh, region. Oh, that's good. When you come to Western region, for that matter, our association, that's a hunter west maize growers and buyers association. Mm -hmm. We are into Pioneer, okay. Lake, and Pana. Okay. These are the three Pioneer, varieties. Lake, lake and, and Pana. Pana. Okay. These are the three varieties of maize that we grow here. Okay. What kind of land is good for maize cultivation? Thank you very much. Uh, I will always refer you to Western region because mm -hmm. I'm in Western region. Yeah. For Western region, mm -hmm. almost all types of soil we cultivate maize on it. Okay. As at now we are speaking, mm -hmm. we have cultivated maize. This land mm -hmm. is a wet land. Okay. For that matter, it's a clay soil. So we can cultivate maize on clay soil, sandy soil, and preferably the loamy soil. All okay. these three types of soil, you can grow maize on it. Okay. How do you come by the growing or planting materials, the seeds? How do you come by them? Thank you very much. Uh, we have local variety mm -hmm. and uh, hybrid. Okay. So because we are into business, mm -hmm. in the olden time, mm -hmm. our f uh, mothers and fathers plant this about tampa mm. and we saw that mm -hmm. it's not fetching them much money mm -hmm. so i was for mm -hmm. go to uh, that was 2010 mm -hmm. i had uh, my school had i'm a teacher okay teacher farmer let me put it that okay. way okay teacher farmer mm -hmm. so my school had national best agriculture school mm -hmm. 2010 okay and i was introduced to that maze pana mm -hmm. so i saw the people were using it as a business and it's a hybrid mm -hmm. so i also go to western region mm -hmm. So through my initiative, you got to know that Pana Pioneer is helping us a lot. Therefore, if you want to go into business in a large scale, therefore you have to plant a uh, hybrid. That is where we are planting uh, other Pana 
pioneer or lake because the yield are very big. Okay, let's get a bit of education. You mentioned hybrid and local. What is the difference between hybrid or what do we refer as hybrid? Thank you very much. When you say hybrid, mm -hmm. like foreign and local, okay. hybrid, they are cross. Okay. They cross different varieties of crops uh -huh. that give us one type of crop. Okay. So that type of uh, crop or maize, mm -hmm. when you grow one, the yield are okay. Mm -hmm. They also, in terms of weather, mm -hmm. they are listening to the weather mm -hmm. and this fall army worms. Mm -hmm. Compared to our local ones, mm -hmm. had a batampa. Mm -hmm. Now, when you mm -hmm. grow batampa here, compared to, you see that the yield is very low. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. That is where almost, even though the price is very high, mm -hmm. yet farmers buy the seed and plant. Okay. Because at the end of the day, mm. they get what they expect. Right. How many acres of this one, the maize? Oh, this one is almost four, uh, it's four and a half acres. Four and a half. Four and a half. How much do you buy the, is it grams or kilo of seed? Yeah, in, uh, the seed. Seed. Uh -huh. Is it in a bag? In a bag. Okay. Like how much is it sold? For now, we are buying 550. 550. Yeah, yes, so please. how many of those will fill four and a half acre of land? Yeah. Uh, an acre of mm -hmm land yes contains the population the uh -huh. plant population mm. twenty thousand okay of plant okay. so they see that we plant uh -huh. they see in it is twenty thousand okay. and a bag mm -hmm. can plant an acre okay so this one we planted four and a half bags right of the sack. the seed yes. or the sack yes. and it sold for 500 or 550, 550. so seed. that's 2200 yes, please. okay that's for the, for the, the, seed, alone. the seed alone. alone um basically if i'm hoping to rent a plot of land in this area how much are we looking at oh it depends on the location if you're on the west side mm -hmm. you get about Seven thousand, eight thousand. So I'm using this place. This place. This are the roadside. Yes. This, this somebody's proto. Okay. It's a proto. Okay. The person is not yet. Right. So we normally advise them those who have bought land mm -hmm. and they have not yet using it. Yes. They will give it to the youth. Okay. So this one is a youth farm Farmer. that have helped them to, to do it. Grow. Likewise, the one there. Okay. Because the land is not yet to be used. Okay, so I'm likely to get it for rent a year. How much? Oh, they will give it to you 500. 500 cities. Okay. And you are going to plant it three times within the year. So, but you mentioned 7,000. So is it a buying or the rent? Uh, yes, if you want to buy, buy then it's 7,000 7, and above. And above. Okay. But if you want to mm. rent, mm. During, depending on the duration that mm. they will give it to you, mm. uh, but the minimum okay. is 500, 500 yes. for a year. For a year. And I'm, I'm, I'm at liberty to grow four times. Four times. Before the before year runs out. Okay. And this okay. thing can mm. only happen in Western mm. region, okay. not other regions. All right. Now, let's talk about how I prepare my land before introducing my seed. What and what do I have to do after weeding the plot? And uh, do I burn the grass? Good. Uh, we have something called ecological farming. Okay. Where the farmer mm -hmm. does not burn the land. Okay. So here, uh -huh. because we plant the maize three or four times within the year, we discourage burning. Therefore, mm. the organic matter decompose mm. into the soil. Mm. And again, the stock after this, yes. we plant it again. Okay. So what we cut, it will decompose into the soil okay. and act as a fertilizer. Mm. And this helps to make the soil very loose. Mm. So anytime you can plant mm. in the soil okay. or you can plant the maize on okay. the soil. All right. Do we nest um, the maize? Do you do nursery before planting or when the land is cleared and the weeds, um, the stalks, you know, rot in the soil. I just have to come and do my holes and then plant. Thank you very much. <laughs> we are doing education here. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, when you go into education, mm -hmm. when you come to seed, mm. we have something called planting at stake. Okay. That's where the seeds are not nest okay. and being planted straight onto the foot wow. without Nesson. Okay. And maize is mm. one of the those planting seeds at stake. that plant at stake. Okay. It doesn't okay. pass through right. nesson. Okay. So I can say mm. we don't nest maize. Mm. Okay. We plant them straight onto the foot without okay. nesting them. All right. What time of the day is good for me to plant my maize? Good. When it comes to Western, through uh -huh. a surgical initiative, yes. we can plant maize all the year round. What time of the day? Is it before rain, after rain, uh, sunny, or what? Right now we are preparing our land, the yes. upland. Yes. So 
after land preparation, mm -hmm. you wait for one or two, today it rains. Yes. So some of the farmers, even my workers, they are mm -hmm. on the foot uh, working, uh, working okay. planting maize. Okay. So you wait, mm -hmm. when it rains one or two, mm -hmm. then you can start planting, planting your maize. Okay. The hole that you dig before you plant the maize, how deep should I dig and how many seeds go into one hole? Good. Depend the variety that you are using. Yes, I'm when using pine. are using the pioneer, Aye. one per hole. And example, what you are seeing here, mm -hmm. one in each hole. Okay. You don't plant it twice. Okay. Two, we have the reason for right. because we apply fertilizer. Mm. Each plant needs five grams of the fertilizer. Okay. So when you plant it one per hole, mm. it helps us or enables us to do the fertilizer application okay okay all right so the hole i asked hole, you about the hole. the hole how deep one or two centimeters is enough it's okay it's enough. how about the distance in between the, good this one is mono mm. only maize mm. so 25 by 75 centimeters okay how many weeks does maize take to mature okay it depends how you want to use it okay if you want to go into fresh stage mm -hmm. As we, the hunter West, we are doing, mm. it takes two months, two weeks. Okay. So I may say ten weeks. Okay. It's ready for, for harvesting. harvesting. That is fresh. 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 Okay. But if, if it's for dry, dry uh -huh. from uh, twelve, mm -hmm. that's exactly three months. Mm. Then the maize is dry is for, harvesting. for harvesting. Okay. How about day one when the maize goes into the ground? How long does it take for me to see the taxing? It takes. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Which is okay. One month. Right. Two weeks. Then you see then the, the maize tassel or okay. flowering. Okay. All right. That's fine. So maize is harvested once, I guess. Oh, once. Once. Depending those, if you are harvesting a fresh stage, mm -hmm. it depends the number of buyers mm -hmm. who come to the farm. Okay. For example, our side, we have about fifty buyers. Okay. So when they come, they, they buy fresh everything all at a go. At a go. Okay. So the intervals, how many days do you leave in between before you replant the Thank next you, one? That's our secret. Mm. Okay. When you come to a hunter West maize production, right? We don't wait after harvesting. Mm. We plant the maize before we harvest. Oh, okay. What we do is right. a week to the harvest. Yeah. The farmer will weed under the maize, mm -hmm. do pruning, mm -hmm. then we plant in between the lines okay. then okay. after harvesting they cut the stalk at that time then what he has planted has germinated oh, okay i so see we don't wait all right so before the maize will get mm -hmm. to three months mm -hmm. then the new one that you have planted or grown mm -hmm. they are two weeks okay and my next take would be um how sure am i the way you are growing without giving space or breathing space to the land am i sure of the same growth and yield Oh yeah. Continuously? Yeah. Okay. The secret is right. one, mm -hmm. we don't apply much fertilizer. Okay. Two, mm -hmm. we don't bend the land. Okay. That is the stock. Mm. So we use the old maize mm -hmm. stocks as to, mulching. As a mulching. Okay. At the same time, this mulching will decompose mm. or what? Mm. And act as a fertilizer. Mm. And this add nutrient to the soil. Okay. So even your second mm. uh, descent mm -hmm. will give you more high yield. Oh, okay. All right, that's very good. Is there any form of um, pest that affect maize farm? Oh, yeah. Apart from the army worm? Oh, for pests, mm. when you talk of pests, any organism that cause damage mm. to crops. Mm. So you can say, for example, this one, we are closer to the house. Mm. Goat, sheep, those things, can that's move the domestic in and eat it. Yes. Ones. yes. When you go to the farm, mm. you have the grass cutter, mm -hmm. those. They also pests that affect okay. the maize. Okay. And their main challenge is the mm. fall army web. That's mm. the main pest mm -hmm. that attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is maize farming high capital intensive? Yeah. It's capital intensive. Depending the size okay. that you wanted to grow. Your land. Your land size. Okay. okay. But mm. when you come to our Western region, that matter, mm. Hunter mm. West, mm. Master, Madam, mm -hmm. I can assure you mm. now all the youths. Are into the maize farming and to maize okay. farming. Now let's talk about the marketing. Who are your main marketers? Who buy from you? Is Rose. it the ones who do the roasting at the roadside? Yes. Side? Okay. Those who buy who, who roast maize on the roadside mm -hmm. are our main uh, 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 target. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. Um, in what do you sell the maize? Is it sack or baskets? Oh, here, what uh -huh. do we count? You count we one, count one, one. Five. Five, five, okay. five, twenty. Oh, okay. Making hundred. Uh -huh. Then we add 
10 cups. Right. Eh? Uh -huh. and you are making uh, one ten okay. cups. Okay. Uh -huh. So how much is one ten cups? Hey, now, uh -huh. because Currently. we are the current price, yes. It's 180. 180 it's cities. Ghana cities. Okay. So per one cups. Uh, so we assume that we mm -hmm. are selling mm -hmm. at the farm gate mm -hmm. a cup, one CD, 80 pesos. Okay. How many kilograms or how many um, tons will I be able to get from this four and a half acre? Let's use an acre. Okay. Then you multiply. Yes, that's fine. So if an, it's just one acre. An acre, mm. if you want to go into dry, mm -hmm. we are into fresh. Yes. But I have done both the dry and then the, and fresh. the, the fresh. Okay. If you want to go to dry, mm. an acre will give you minimum mm. 15 bucks, mm. which is why the 50 mm -hmm. kilos mm. to 20 bucks okay. of dry. Okay. But when you come to the fresh, mm. because we count them, mm -hmm. so an acre, mm. The amount that you spend, so as you mean, you spend 4,000 mm -hmm. on acre, you are mm -hmm. going to get times two of your diet spend, hey. expenditure. If That's I spend 4,000, I'm likely to get a profit of 8,000 times two of for just one acre. For an acre. And a season. Wow. At a time. Okay. So as you mean, this one, we spend 2,000. We are short of all, all things being equal. Mm -hmm. We are short of a profit of 2000 Wow. That's, That's good business. That's why I told you that yeah. through my initiative, uh -huh. we have engaged all the youths mm. into maize production. Okay. When okay. the minister came here, right. Dr. Usa, ah, he was happy. Oh, okay. Because mm. it is where he that he said that mm. at Ghana there's mm. no food shortage. Mm. Because he came he came at this time. Yeah. And he came to meet a lot of maize in their farms. Okay. At Ghana we have food. Okay. Okay. All right. So if if there's a young person still thinking of going into farming and thinking about let's say crops like this, maize and other things. What would be your advice and what do you also think that I should put in place before I go into my maize farming? Oh, uh, it, we have the planting materials. Yeah. Because if somebody is helping you farm, but mm -hmm. if it is your own, who is going to sponsor everything? Yeah. You need to get capital. Okay. Have you seen? Mm -hmm. Because the seed, mm -hmm. because it's a good seed. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. So it costs. Yes, it's expensive. Good. Okay. And now, our main challenge is the fertilizer. Now a bag of fertilizer is cost of 500 Ghana cities here. Mm. So you have to gather all this input down before you go into the maze. That's the advice I'll give to people. Okay. If you want to do it in a commercial farm, Commercial quantity. Quantities, mm. Then you have to get down all these mm -hmm. inputs. Okay. Your wood decide. Mm -hmm. It's one aspect. Mm -hmm. That's how one person can do this. Mm -hmm. if got, we don't read. Right. We don't read, okay. we spray. Okay. We have the selective mm -hmm. we decide for mm -hmm. the maize. Mm -hmm. So after planting, mm -hmm fertilizer application, you can go and sleep 24 hours mm. without coming. Mm. Time for fertilizer application, mm. once you do it, you go and sleep. Okay. So you can farm mm. or you can do business in the maize production. Whereas people are not aware that you are working. Okay, I see. Now I see there is some, you know, water mm? yeah. beneath the maize. Isn't that a cause to worry? Won't it worry the maize? No, it will not. You see, when we came, uh -huh. it was, the level was, listen, you could see the night has gone down. It's going down. down. Yes, the, the drainage, the uh -huh. SS one, that's... Yeah. Uh -huh, oh, okay. So here is not a flooding land. Okay. It's not a flooding land. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So there you have it, Mr. Osajifo, the brain behind a Hunter West Maze Farmers Association, including traders. He has introduced that initiative. And of course, he's saying that if you're planning to go into commercial maize farming it has to do with the quality of seed and he is proposing or suggesting you go for the hybrid that one will give you high yield it is uh, disease resistance and many more so you should think about that thank you so much for joining us this week on the Ghanaian farmer we came to you all the way from the western region and our focus today was on maize farming we hope uh, to catch up with the women who do the roasting, if we find one along the oh, yeah, road, we'll, see we'll get one yeah. and talk to the person. But other than that, thank you so much. If you have any questions, if you have any contribution, share on our platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, the Ghanaian Farmer. Subscribe, yes. Please subscribe. I know you're watching me, you are enjoying the interview, but subscribe and also share the link. Your final words to people who are watching you. Thank you very about much for farming. the opportunity to give yeah. it to me.
uh, I want to tell the youth, mm -hmm. it's only agriculture that mm -hmm. can employ many people. Mm -hmm. There is a job. Mm -hmm. Don't say there's no job. There okay. is a job. Right. It's unfortunate you have not identified. Right. If you have not identified, don't say there's no job. Okay. And a Greek, for that matter, miss. Mm -hmm. I can advise you. Mm -hmm. You can do it alongside your job. Okay. I'm a teacher. Okay. But I have a vast farm. Mm -hmm. I have employed people, youth, mm -hmm. those who complete school. Mm -hmm. I employ them to come and work so for you. If you were youth, mm -hmm. you were graduate, mm -hmm. don't think there is no work okay. unless you have not identified. Mm -hmm. So I want to motivate, encourage all the youth mm -hmm. come into farming. Mm -hmm. Though we have the uh, the risk aspect, mm. but yet there is money in the soil. Okay, this man, Mr. Sajifo, or perhaps Amijana, he will talk late. But the truth is, indeed, there is money in the soil. Thanks for watching. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're welcome.